the solar system, at least 7 billion miles across, home to eight planets, 166 moons, and billions of asteroids, comets, and meteorites. But in galactic terms, this is our local neighborhood. Welcome to Space School. Today's topic, at 4.6 billion years old, is the solar system. Its planets, including our own Earth, formed out of what was left over after the birth of the Sun. Amazingly, these eight massive celestial bodies grew out of tiny specks of dust orbiting the new star. Time and again, the young planets collided with floating debris, eventually reaching their current size. The Sun's gravity then locked them into orbit. The solar system is divided into two distinct regions, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars make up the inner solar system, while Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune make up the outer solar system. The four planets of the outer solar system make up 99% of the known mass orbiting the Sun. It was in that distant region, the outer solar system, that in the year 2006, astronomy was shaken to its very core. After almost 80 years, Pluto lost its status as the ninth planet. The International Astronomical Union couldn't ignore findings that similar, even larger bodies than Pluto traversed the outer solar system. Forced to define the word for the first time, astronomers established three distinct criteria to earn the name planet. First, the object must orbit the sun. Second, it must have sufficient gravity to maintain a planet's spherical shape. Finally, after millions of collisions, the body must have cleared away other objects from its own orbital neighborhood. This last point is where Pluto fails, so it's been demoted to a dwarf planet and joined two other dwarfs, Eris and Ceres. Astronomers believe there may be as many as 42 dwarf planets in our solar system. Pluto and beyond is not simply the beginning of endless open space but the inner edge of a gigantic region filled with asteroids, comets, and meteorites. Billions of miles beyond our sun stretches the Kuiper Belt, an area larger than our entire planetary system. It's home to most of our solar system's comets, icy flying rocks. There are more than 3,350 known comets in our solar system. Further out still is the scattered disk, a belt of strangely orbiting objects, often small and icy minor planets. Finally, we reach the heliosphere, an immense magnetic bubble which forms the very outer edge of the solar system. This area is thought to be the boundary between solar and interstellar winds, the boundary between our own neighborhood and the great expanse of interstellar space. For us, the solar system seems enormous. Its distance is almost beyond comprehension. But incredibly, it is just a tiny corner of the giant Milky Way galaxy. Still, despite overwhelming odds, we humans have set out on a journey of exploration. We are sending one spacecraft after another into the farthest reaches of the solar system all on a quest to understand our place in the universe and the mystery of the great beyond. This is Space School, signing off. Class dismissed. We are currently surveying our viewers to learn more about you. Please take a few minutes and visit our website at discovery.com slash podcast and click on the survey link found at the top of the page. Again, that's discovery.com slash podcast, and you can complete the survey anonymously.